All right, guys, let's go through my recent pickups sourced locally down here in Australia through Facebook groups uh, and some nice ones here, including a collection that I also just recently bought. All right, so first lot was from Facebook auction group. It's totaled up at $99 and there's a little bit of a story behind it. Uh, so was, yeah, ended up purchasing, winning this whole uh, lot of cards uh, and, you know, was waiting about four weeks for it. And I thought, you know, has it gotten lost? Has the seller potentially done a little bit of a dodgy here on me? Uh, and look, he, the person who was selling it, I'm pretty sure it was reputable and everything like that, sent me a picture of package, proof of postage and everything like that. Uh, and then out of nowhere, randomly, uh, I just got a knock on the door uh, and someone had just said that, look, this was delivered to my address uh, and I live like three or four streets away and turns out, yeah, was delivered to the wrong address. So she did say her son did open it. I think he was like eight or nine years old or whatever it was, but he gave it back to his mum, and yeah, thankfully they dropped it off at my door. So this is how I ended up uh, getting the cards in my hand and luckily, yeah, to my hands because there's some nice cards in here, more so for the Aussies, if anything. Uh, so yeah, Matthew Dalavadova, the Gala on card auto. Uh, checkerboard of Dali. So obviously this, this wasn't all in one lot. There were separate auction lots. So I think this was about uh, just like maybe $15. The checkerboard, which is a case, it was like 2 or $3. Uh, the Spectra RJA was $14 or $15. Uh, Apprentice Rookie Auto would have been about 8 or $9. Got another one there. Uh, Dali does sell very well here in Australia, so you might look at this if you're watching from America and think, why are you getting this guy who barely played any minutes on the Sacramento Kings? He does sell very well here and he's very well liked as well in Australia. Uh, elite Autograph as well, would have been under $10. Uh, certified Auto, not Rookie, under $10 as well. Uh, and then there was a lot of uh, Prism from 2019-20, so we have his Base Prism, Purple Wave Prism, Pink Ice Prism, Orange to 49, uh, we'll se separate that one, Silver to 299 uh it's not really in order i think uh no yeah no it's in order so yeah a couple uh sorry just one of the prism autos and then another prism lot here so red white blue uh blue disco to 175 red white blue again red eyes purple wave silver silver fast break red fast break blue pink uh purple pulse arch to 35 uh, green, fast break bronze to 20, so low numbered there. Uh, green, fast break disco, and the silver prism. So, large lot of Matthew Dale of Dover, uh, probably gone to the eBay store just because he does sell quite well here, or just into Facebook sales because, yeah, you can't really go off comps when it comes to Aussie players down here. People will overpay for him, and I've seen people paying two to three times comps of Dyson Daniels cards at the moment. So, like, Aussies just sell really well here. Next lot here, uh, this was off a Facebook sale down on Facebook. Uh, so yeah, just go through them. So Colton Johnson, uh, so these cards were purchased before Wemby was, uh, well not Wemby, but the Spurs won the number one pick in the draft lottery. So a lot of a lot of the Spurs card prices uh, have gone up. And if you watch my TikTok, I did mention that Devin Vassal, Colton Johnson, Trey Jones would have that potential. Uh, so this one is six bucks. We have Mikael Bridges. This one was $25 for the Hoops Rookie Auto. Uh, was actually underpriced, uh, under comps in terms of, he was just really trying to get rid of it. Uh, so $25 for that one. Pascal Siakam, uh, this is the Celestial out of $9.99. This one was four bucks. Kessler Tesla Edwards to 95 Optic was $2. Uh, Kyrie Irving Interstellar Spectra here. This one is out of 49. This one was $6. Trey Mann uh, Chronicles Luminance to 149. The red was a dollar. Uh, and then the main card I was going for for the PC, the Usman Garuba Draft Night Recon, uh, yeah, on card auto was $30. So happy with that one. I know um, Status had a set similar to this for the 2017 18 draft class where it was like a, dry, a draft night uh, sort of, uh, uh, in, yeah, parallel where it looked like. I, I always thought it was because. Um, it was like sign of their draft day, but I think it's just the parallel itself. It's not actually sign of their draft day. I think the ones that you're actually looking for in terms of that are the next day autographs, but I still like these autos. They're on-card autos and yeah, they're really nice. So yeah, that was one of the lots that I purchased. Next one, I think this has been really lucky in terms of timing, uh, Nikola Jokic. So 
A couple of his autos, so at the time of recording, Denver just has beaten other LA Lakers in Game 4 of the playoffs, so they're in the NBA Finals right now. Uh, and I still think Nicole Jokic autos are underpriced when you compare him to like a Giannis or Joel Embiid or any of those sorts of players, just because he's won two MVPs, um, you know, hasn't won that title yet at the time of recording, unlike Embiid as well, but yeah, his rookie, sorry, his, his veteran autos are still going uh, at a way lower price compared to Giannis. Uh, I know these are sticker autos, but uh, yeah, got these ones for $135 each. So did a nice little bundle deal here uh, with David, who we've made some deals in the past before with each other. Uh, I've also got a National Treasures on-card auto, and I just think Nicole Jokic, uh, you know, he doesn't have too many rookie autos out there because he, he was a second-round pick. So, yeah, didn't have the amount of cards uh, back in 2015 compared to where he is now. Um, but in terms of his veteran autos, I think those will go up in price as well on top of the rookie autos and all that sort of stuff if he does win the championship. So fingers crossed, uh, but yeah, happy with these purchases out of 75 for the Court Kings. And then uh, the Contenders is out, out of uh, 49. So uh, yeah, let's hope, he makes, uh, let's hope he wins his first NBA championship. So I'm gonna leave the collection until the end just because there's a lot to go through in terms of that. So these are just more the smaller cards itself in terms of volume. Uh, Darren Fox next up, the Fresh Paint Autograph. So actually jersey number five out of a hundred this one was 230 dollars it might have had not had the greatest timing i purchased it during the first round uh, of the playoffs where it was kings versus warriors uh but just in, just based off comps i think this is around the going rate for uh, a fresh paint, especially numbered to 100. And then just being jersey numbered itself, I think we'll have that multiplier. So I think $230 based off what De'Aaron Fox showed in the playoffs, really likable player and all that sort of stuff. Uh, you know, I think even though I was kind of buying at the peak of its hype, it's not that bad of a purchase. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, next one up. Good timing with this one, actually. So uh, I, this was all purchased a couple of weeks ago. Again, before uh, the Spurs did get awarded the number one pick. Uh, you know, to draft Victor Wembanyama, uh, and in doing so, seeing a lot of uh, players' cards go up. So, uh, Devin Vassell, I think, has been the number one um, person who has benefited from it. I've seen his cards just sell at a large volume and go up in price. So, Revolution Auto, uh, $15 for that one, just a base one. Uh, great expectations out of 15. Um, nice card here. Purple out of Donruss was $10. Uh, Devin Vassell, the hoops out of 25. This one was $28. Uh, and the next ones are Trey Jones. So these are all really cheap autos, all $9 each. So uh, the hoops autograph, the rookie ink autograph, uh, the hoops autograph as well, and then the Don Russ rookie signature. So Trey Jones, um, you know, I think his potential is almost like his brother, like a pretty, a really good backup point guard. His brother, Tyus Jones, is probably the best backup point guard in the NBA right now, uh, other than probably Malcolm Brogdon, other than Boston Celtics. And then Devin Vassell, uh, I think he just averaged just under 20 points a game, but um, yeah, his, his shot creating and, play, and shooting was just ridiculous last season. I think uh, I was after Colton Johnson a little bit more last season, but I think Devin Vassell has won me over a little bit more compared to Colton, and I think his potential actually is a little bit higher uh, than Colton. And so I was quite surprised about that, uh, especially what, uh, considering what I was thinking at the start of the season. Next three cards up are uh, all very short printed parallels from Select uh, and Prism. So PJ Tucker, uh, the Tiger Stripe parallel from Prism was $15. Uh, Derek White, uh, Elephant, I think, parallel from Select, $15. Uh, and then the more higher price from that one being a rookie, Javon Carter. I uh, was playing a very great role in the Milwaukee Bucks. This one was $30 for his rookie Select Zebra. In terms of more, uh, uh, short printed select, car select cards is probably uh, quite a comparable one here. And with Isaiah Jackson, I highly, I, I like, I rate him quite highly compared to a lot of people. I was reading a lot of Pacers fans who don't really like him. I think they don't, they think he doesn't really provide too much offensively. Uh, but defensively, he's pretty good. So uh, the select first off the line purple. Uh, yeah, card out of five. So this one was 30 bucks and then bundled up with the rest of the Isaiah Jacksons. These all averaged out at around $6 each. So number 299, the way off-centered, uh, red prism, uh, the blue prism to 199 also. Uh, no, it doesn't look too badly off-centered. That looks all right there. And then the blue ice to 125 there, off top to bottom, but $6 for the number uh, prisms and then $30 for uh, the first off the line purple. Did get a PSA submission back. I'm not going to blind reveal it because I didn't blind reveal it. Uh, but Usman Garuba, the white sparkle prism. Got a PSA 9 in the end. So love the color match in terms of the card on top of the jersey. Uh, 
I thought it would get a 10. It, it is well, pretty well centered, I thought. I thought it was in pretty good con condition, but just being the sparkle in the background, I could have you know, potentially missed something uh, to make it not be a 10. Uh, following on from more Usman Garuba, we have the Peacock Parallel from Mosaic. Uh, $30 for this one. Um, I've always, I was kind of thinking with the Peacock, you don't really find too many comps on them. And with the Genesis being a case hit, uh, and the Peacock's going for a little bit more than the Genesis's, if that's yeah how you say it. Uh, yeah, I just always, always always confused like how short is the print run of the Peacocks in in regards to the Genesis. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it's even less than the case here or if it's one every. 100 boxes or something like that, but I just find the peacocks are quite hard to find in terms of comps uh, and the prices go for a little bit more than uh, the Genesis. All right, last two cards before we get into the collection. Uh, both Noir cards, very nice, you know, just off a of fire sale uh, that was on Facebook where the guy was saying, saying that he was going to sell 20 to 30% on the comps. First card up, another cat card. Uh, I did sell my tie dye select, uh, yeah, tie dye select RPA card. So cat still does move, even though uh, he's lost a little bit of love. But Noir RPA, uh, this one was it's out of forty and uh, went for sixty nine dollars. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, the other one, rookie RPA, gorgeous three color patch on card autograph. Uh, this one was one hundred and ten dollars. So yeah. All on the comps on those ones. Uh, we'll see how they move, but we'll chuck them in the eBay store. Worst case, yeah, we'll see how they go in consignment. But yeah, I think these will move quite easily. All right, let's go through this collection uh, that I saw on a Facebook group. So he did. He didn't really have a price on it. Um, I just said, you know, name a price, and I think he was at around eight fifty or eight hundred, and then I got it down to seven fifty. Paid goods, so total cost for me was seven hundred seventy eight dollars. Uh, and he did say he watches the channel, so uh, I know he did say he's selling his sports card collection. So I don't know if he's going to still be watching my content, but shout out to you, Harry, if you do watch the channel. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of variety here because it is an entire sports card collection. Uh, UFC, which I'm not really into, a bit of soccer as well. So yeah, let's break it down bit by bit. Um, so let's go to the slabs first. Uh, it's Ty Tuivasa, Orange Flash Select PSA 10. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, uh, Will to Win Mosaic PSA 10. Uh, LeBron James, who at the time of recording just got knocked out, PSA 10. Uh, SP Authentic of Michael Jordan, PSA 9. Uh, Tom Brady, Bowman Chrome, PSA 9. Michael Jordan, 1992 Tops, PSA 9. Uh, I do have the PSA 6 of this in my collection, one that I would never ever sell, but I actually found this one at a market, as in the PSA 6 version when I was a little kid. Saved it in the shoebox and then graded it, so that's part of my collection, but to see a PSA 9 here, pretty cool. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, SGC 6. Not a rookie card, but a really nice uh, iconic set as well. Uh, yeah, SG66 for that one. Uh, Alexander Volkanovsky, so PSA 10, the neon green. So this one's out of 75. Uh, yeah, Australian UFC fighter, so should sell all right here. Luka Doncic, my house, base, PSA 10. Uh, ben Simmons, select, PSA 10. Lamar Jackson, tricolor, PSA 10, uh, out of 199. Uh, Tua of Aloha, uh, PSA 10, green mosaic. So I think that's the majority of the slabs now. So it's just all these other cards here. So let's just make some room. Uh, Paul Pierce, net effect, Fleer. Davion Mitchell, National Treasures, uh, triple jersey out of 99. Uh, Devontae Smith, Don Russ jersey. Luka Doncic, impeccable. I think this is the Asia parallels and not numbered. Cooper Cup, uh, red, yellow. Uh, jersey Fusion, uh, probably... Oh, I think Mosaic's my least favorite set. I think Jersey Fusion might be second least favorite. Just, I, I don't know. I don't really like the design of it. I like, I get the concept they were going after, but I don't really like it. So, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., Game Use Jersey. Uh, Dan Marino, Jersey. Uh, Curtis Martin, Jersey. What is this? Kirby... Uh, Kirby Puckett, uh, Jersey, Evan Mobley, on-card auto, so the base autograph here, so one of the nicer cards in the lot. Uh, Corey Kispert, National Treasures Collegiate, RPA. All right, some more singles here. RJ Hampton, uh, Joe Burrow's score, some more low-end stuff. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, Recon, Lamello, Optic Base, uh, Tour. Keon Johnson, Works in Progress, Tatum, RJ Hampton, DeAndre Aiden. Uh, Kyle Lowry, LeBron, Preston Achua, Tyrese Halliburton, Silver Phoenix, OG Ananobi, Israel Adesanya, uh, some base of Ben Simmons in the parallel, the Panini Instant of Verbal and Anthony Edwards. Pretty sure those are numbered. Yep, one out of 1,286, very specific number. More 
I'll break this one in half. Just more low end cards here. Uh, Quinton Grimes, uh, Ja Morant. This is a sunburst, I'm pretty sure. So out of 60, LeBron James groove, a lot of LeBron James stuff here, just low end again. Uh, Tom Brady, Joe Burrow, Chronicles, Cole Trask, Illusions, uh, Jersey, Lamobile, Mosaic, Mobley, Durant, Precious, Cole Anthony. Clearly Don Russ, Jimmy Butler, Precious, Lamello, Michael Porter Jr., Cracked Ice School Colors, actually a nice card here considering how the Denver Nuggets are going and how he's playing. Uh, Jimmy Butler, I don't have much Jimmy Butler cards, this might be the only Jimmy Butler stuff I have here, you know, it's still low at the end of the day, but uh, yeah, I don't have any Jimmy Butler because I just didn't expect him to go too well, unfortunately, and he's killing it at the moment. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, uh, this one I'm pretty sure is numbered out of 49. Just retired today, actually. Uh, Giannis. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have a lot more uh, variety here. So, Stipe, Miosic. Uh, this is uh, immaculate, whatever, uh, materials. Uh, got some baseball here. So, yeah, I'm not even going to pronounce these names. Chocolate Dell, Pink Pulse, Pulsar, which is numbered. Uh, Isaac Okoro out of 49, Majestic. Some soccer here. UFC, Auto. Uh, Stained Glass, Fernanda Tatis. Uh, Jalen Johnson, auto, JD Martinez, more autos here, Bradley Beal, Recon Autograph, uh, Bones Highland. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of stuff in here which will be fun to go through. Volkanovsky materials, uh, clearly Don Russ, Connor Seabold, auto. We have Cade Cunningham, PSA 9, Fractal Revolution, Brian De La Cruz. Last pile here, Colin Sexton, Spectra, RJA, numbered, Darren Fox, National Treasures numbered, uh, Trey Young, and Carmelo Anthony, Recon, Declan Rice, Harris Halliburton numbered, rookie, uh, Lamar Ball, rookie Recon numbered, George Kittle numbered, Danny Gray Gold Standard, LeBron numbered, Justin Herbert, Blue Press Proof Don Russ, nice card there, Jason Tatum, Maestros uh, out of 149, uh, we have a quad, this card's actually quite nice, uh, the quad with Volkanovski, Poirier, I think that's how you say it, Conor McGregor, actually it doesn't have Volkanovski, what am I talking about, <laughs> Khabib, uh, and Tony Ferguson, so I think this was comped around 80 $90, uh, and then Colin Sexton, Obsidian, Isaac Okoro, uh, Donald Cerrone, Jennifer Mayer, and other UFC cards. And the last card from the lot, Derek Lewis, UFC uh, materials. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought. I got that was that was $778. I think the value was there in terms of flipping. Um, yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of volume to go through, but we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, so that's it for me recapping my recent pickups all down here in Australia. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of my pickups and also let me know what you guys have been purchasing down below. Also, make sure you smash the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in future videos. Take care.